Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Weird West. And in the last episode, guys, we were able to fight our way through a ton of Devour to find the first of the Alvadado bracelets. And as soon as we left that area, we got a relay -a gram from someone known as the Scholar, who apparently is able to translate the bracelet's inscriptions. And we need to head all the way up here to uh, Heronwall Summit to go ahead and uh, converse with this scholar. And I think that's going to be our next stop, because after that, we need to go to Boulder Creek to ask about the bracelets and then head down here to Galen's Crossing um, to that lovely mayor that we met during Jane's storyline and uh, see if we can find the others. We do have some news here. Sickness on the Merchant Trails. This publication is alarmed to report that a curious sickness seems to be spreading among cav uh, caravaneers, merchants, and trappers. Victims begin to act strangely, grow inordinately hungry, babbling deliriously, and fighting over scraps as though possessed. What strange occult curse could be behind this illness? Read on for our most qualified speculation on the matter. Minecrawler Scare Armed Traveler Causes Stir and Quick Bend Thought at first to be a merchant, a recent newcomer to Quickbend has caused a disturbance when it was determined he carried no wares but strange eldritch books. Though he had a charming air, certain omens were determined to be the cause of the traveler, and he was escorted forcefully from the area by the marshals. Pigman threat diminishes by spirit's grace. Um, I think we've read that one already. Okay. So let's head north. I decided not to upgrade any weapons yet, but one thing I was thinking about is before the end of our storyline here, we need to go ahead and buy something expensive because that money doesn't travel between characters. And we weren't able to get Jane's money or um, Porkchop's money either, so it just seems to kind of get lost in the ether. So when it's time for a Cross River story to end, we're going to go buy something shiny. Oh yeah, we also have um, Virginia Hughes, the newest member of the posse, who we were able to rescue from that shed. And um, she's a little bit weaker than some of our other companions, but I think she'll do for right now. Closer. Or closer. Oop. Okay, already read that one. Can't go down the well. We can go up here. Oh, hi, Essex. Well, now, if it ain't that lost Fire Nation hunter I've been hearing about, and if my sources ain't total shit, I'll bet you got something special on that neck of yours. There it is. The brand. Just like I thought. I'd say I'm surprised, but I ain't. Listen, there's an immortal inside here member of what they call the 21. She's got a book I need, but you won't hand it over. Why are you looking at me like that? Because there's more than one immortal, but I left the only one I want. Only one this soul transfer business will work with. If you're going inside, ask for that book, you hear? I'll make it worth your while. The person he saw get killed. Well, I ain't one to tell sob stories, but that brand of yours, it keeps cropping up. I'm tied to y'all somehow. Meant to know each other. Fine. It was my brother, Kit. I ain't gonna tell you the story how he died. Ain't matter. Only thing that matters is this. I was there. His life bleeding out in dust, and he says to me, Essex, ain't nothing here. Then he was gone. And I mean that. Gone. Into the dirt. For good. Ain't no life after death, partner. We're dust. That's what keeps me awake nights. And that's what I can't abide. I won't. And Aleph's my sick, my ticket. To a life that means something. The 21. Aleph's one of them. This scholar, too. They're everywhere, but you got nowhere to look. Folks say they came from the old home. They've been alive thousands of years. Can you imagine? 
All that knowledge, the coin they must got, the power, you'd be unstoppable. And that's what I plan to be. Ask why Essex doesn't take the soul of another 21. You a bit slow, partner? Can't exactly stick my soul tree branch into the heart of somebody who can't be hurt. But Aleph? That's different. See, I hear Aleph's weakened somehow. Vulnerable. In limbo. That's why Aleph's got to be the one. That's why I gotta find the sucker. And the book. I have a feeling if we just keep on making um, Essex more and more powerful that he'll end up being like the final boss. Written by them ancients. Soul transfer is tricky, see? I ain't want my soul to end up floating around the waste for all eternity. I need this right know-how. Or I need the right know-how, and this scholar's got it. Hmm. Alright, well we're gonna see what else we got here before we decide. Excellent. And a little bit of milk. Awesome. How many times do you get an opportunity to use an immortal's toilet? Seriously. Yeah? Ah, that brand. It is you, passenger, yes. The experiment. It is time, hmm? You've come for translation. The Alvedado bracelets. You've brought one, yes? Why does she call us passenger? Are you not familiar with this designation yet? Surely you have been called it already, hmm? I know you, as do others. We watch your progress with great interest, yes. But I will say no more. All right there, Palpatine. Show her the Alvedado bracelet. Let me see, let me see. Hmm... An inscription in the gold. Ancient language from the old home. But I can read it. Yes. Where bog and mire touch an endless plain, rocks of three come home to me. It seems to be part of a lullaby, yes. To locate a secret place. But we will need all three Alva Alvadado bracelets to learn the location. Come back to me when you have more bracelets, hmm? Essex book. A persistent man, is he not? He desires a book on the art of soul transference. To become immortal. Ha! Huh. How little he understands. And yet, his fate is intertwined with yours. You feel this, yes? I leave it to you. Shall I give him the book? <laughs> well, sure, let's create our own uh, Randall flag. Ask her to give Essex the book. Yes, I thought so. He shall have it. I expect it is not the last you will see of this man. No. Or it could be one of those things that if he does become immortal and we've kind of gotten his way, he may then see us as an enemy and we have to deal with him one way or the other. The experiment. Important. Vital. But you must not know more. Integrity of experiment relies on it. Yes. I can say no more. Yet, I hope you succeed. Yes. Interesting way of talking. Okay, so I assume getting into a scrap with her would not be good, being an immortal and such. Oh, bookshelves. Oh, nearest tome. Already read. Okay. I like how the, the knowledge was available, but the things in the display case were not. Ooh. Crate. I see you, golden ace of spade. Let's be all nice and... Nice and sneaky. Copper key. Empty. <laughs> Spoon! Arrows, Western Gazette, Rifle Rounds, 
temple stone. Hmm. We'll just close that. The new frontier. On the third day of the dig, however, a breakthrough. Red soil, of the type described in Sir Roby's journals, and even more exciting, fragments of pottery in the style of the ancients, as would have been carried away from the site by the original excavation crew. Believing ourselves now to be close to what we seek, the company's morale is redoubled, and we continued with renewed fervor. From the journals of Carrier and Co. Treasure Outfit. Statues in the Ruins Figure 04, a statue found in a site abandoned several centuries past of the same style as many others we've seen. Note the protruding tongue and oversized head. Preliminary examination of the location seems to indicate that these creatures were revered, or revered for uh, restorative properties. We found carvings of the creature being cut into sections and used in rituals, though for what purpose we cannot yet say. Yowza. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Hello, resistant bison hide vest. Okay, thank you, scholar. We appreciate your, uh... Okay, already read that. This is a knowledge dump. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, Essex, here you go. Heard y'all talking in there. I'm obliged for you putting in a good word and getting me that book. Your lifesaver. Literally. Now tell me. Immortality. You must want it as bad as I do. Am I right? I figure from across rivers it would be like, no. Everything's meant to die. And you mean to do the same. Foolish. Naive. But useful. At least I know you won't try to steal my ticket. I'd keep gabbing out here, but now I got that book. I gotta get going. Don't go getting into too much trouble now, here. Yeah? Fair enough. Like, we're creating our own supervillain. I'm aware of that. But... Okie dokie. So... Got the small apps. Okay, that's that's where uh, Pork Chop went to get friendly with the folks over at at the uh, Cedar Flats, I think. Galen's Crossing. Travel to the Boulder Creek to ask. I want to save Galen's Crossing for last, so we're going to go all the way across the map again. See what we run into along the way. Passing the Big Gulch Mine. Will this be a encounter-free ride? That would be nice. We need to remember to keep on go, go with the bitter rock once we get the character that... Uh, oh! Out of their minds! No, right away. Go forth, horsey. Spirit's Blessing. Another one of those minds that I think like random stuff can happen to you there. Voices holler from the spirit hall. And another noise. Odd. A cross between a human scream and the sound of bugs chewing through meat. Oh, these guys. Okay. Well. Elemental arrows. When readying your bow, briefly move your arrow through a fire source to create a fire arrow, which will deal fire damage and set flammable objects like straw bales and poison clouds ablaze when fired. Note that the same thing can be done with poison clouds to turn your arrows into poison arrow. That's cool. Alright. And now we have mighty fire arrows. Ridgebacks. Okay, Virginia, I need you to... Pork chop. 
Pork chop. Need you to help out here, friend. You're the one who's immune to poison. Thanks for helping, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, well, that happened. We are poisoned right now. Well, that's okay. We'll eat some cactus fruit. Get ourselves full up. Wait for the fire to die down. That was a lot of, uh, ridgebacks. I mean, I'm okay with this, but baked apple. Ooh. But consider the source. Okay, dynamite, let's go ahead and get that away from the burning corpse, shall we? Oh, looks like a bunch of people are... Oh, they hold themselves up. Gotcha. Alright, well, before we go ahead and free them... You might as well... <laughs> go ahead and grab everything that we can. Just say, oh, the Ridgebacks got gotcha. you. Don't know what happened there. We're sorry. What a tragedy. Take that bandage. That puts us up at a 10. I prefer to have all of my stuff around 10. Oh, I already read that smut. I don't know how Across Rivers would even feel about that. Alright. I also got a bounty board and all the things here. Adventurer's Handbook, Adventurer's Handbook. Oh! It's one of these. Wait for the poison to subside. Too bad I can't just take control of Pork Chop. It's empty. I don't know why horseshoes are in here, but... Note from Cleric Hatasa. Half the town is missing down in that mine, Sheriff. We can't ignore it any longer. Go. Gavin will protect us from the Ridgebacks. But without our husbands, our wives, our sons and daughters, we are nothing. I don't know if that particularly worked out well. Yeah, take some more stiff human skull. I'm looking for the classics, you guys know. Actually, I probably need to check that. Because I keep on forgetting. Okay, three golden ace of spades. Um, Quick lit reload. Resistant deer hide. More bread. It's going to take them forever to clear out all of these hives. Oh, there's still some ridgebacks here. Where are you hanging out? Okay, watch out for the flies. Okay, we're good. Ow. We'll use one. Uh, oh, we need to get up on the roof of this church. Oh, there was so much water. We should have drank it. Oh, well. Your jewelry was handled by a pig. <laughs> the pork chop's like, that's me. Mason farm hit. Nothing left of the Masons but bones. Blasted pigmen. I see one of them cursed snouts around my property. You can bet they'll get what they deserve. You staying safe, right? Make sure you keep your rifle loaded. Wretched beasts are running wild. I knew I like pork chop for a reason. 
Alright. More arrows, rifle rounds. Ew. Someone made a mess in the bed. It's like the perfect crime. We have to, you know what I mean? We'd be fools not to take advantage of it. Bandana. Water pump. What's upstairs here? Good lord. Well, Porkchop would know about things being cursed. He said that the mine was cursed. Oh, this place actually has a blacksmith. That's good. We're kind of... I was wondering if there was going to be any others except for the one in Grackle. And copper nugget, nymph relic, silver. How many nymph relics do we have? We have three. So, splash arrows. And I can see that, t that I can see that ore right there on the edge, but it's not going to let me pick it up, I don't think. Now here, worth of use. Hello. Oh. Okay, mashed potatoes and anti-venom. Not exactly things you would, uh... See, what I'm doing, and I can get away with this with the villagers, is saying, you know, I was just going through and detonating all of these areas so you didn't have to worry about it, and neither did your kids. You know, I am doing a dedicated public service that they should be appreciative of, and if a few things go missing, well, that's just, that's just how it is, you know? That's the cost of doing business. Trunk, ooh, okay. Amulet of insulation or emulation. That poor guy's seen better days. Uh, more arrows, another book. Already read that. I think we're running out of town to, to loot, fortunately. I think we just got this place now. Barrels. Ah, yeah, I guess we'll grab more med kits just for the crack. Beans, pistol slugs, rifle ammo. Okay, this place is all right. This place, death trap, death trap of a place. Oh, poor horsey! Oh God! Oh. Oh dear. Oh, there was something very bad upstairs. Oh, bless your heart. I am so sorry, horse. Um. Do 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 do. My bad. So what was up here that caused all that commotion? Or did it all just get destroyed in the process? Okay. Nothing really up here. Not that I see. Alright. So that horse died for nothing. Sad face. Now, we're not done yet. We're not going to free the people. Just yet. Rifle rounds. Whew, that upgraded jump though. Thank you, pork chop. Appreciate you. Okay, we got the sheriff. Which we already went through. All those buildings. Okay.
We're in good shape. A, a native? I wasn't expecting one of your kind. Well, spirits bless you all the same. If you hadn't killed those Ridgebacks, we'd be dead. Please, come inside. We have provisions, ammunition, and our head cleric would like to speak with you about some irregularities of the local mine. Absolutely. Glad to help. I just got here. Hope everything's going well. Is that just a plain... Yeah, Stubbs double barrel. Hmm. Empty cans, rifle rounds. We'll keep all of this. Good, they'll need it. I may take some arrows, though. Use prayer candle, pocket watch. They're giving offerings here. Um, I don't know if... <laughs> if, uh, Across Rivers is the kind of person to pay respects to Yeb and Anun. So, you know what? I don't think we will. Okay, um, ma'am. I can't get through here, and I am terrified of trying to jump over you, because I'll probably knock you out and set this entire town after me. So we'll have to go around this way. Hello, creepy child. Oh, I guess you just went out through here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Take that relic. Ooh, all those sweet, sweet med kits. Western Gazette. Miner's Digest. All manner of mineral wealth ha well, has, of course, been discovered within the stone of the Shepherd Mountains. By the grace of the Spirit's guidance, any miner worth a tin to make a bucket can find an untapped vein if they should be willing to put the work to dig it. Collected herein are surveys of the region and expected locations where further ore might be found for those with the courage to go out and find them. That'd be prank kind of cool. Larry Morgan. Ah, the native. Praise Gavin for sending you to us. We'd been locked away here for days. Please, let us offer you shelter. Food, ammunition, anything you need. It's yours. And if you'd be so kind, we've had some irregularities at the local mine. I love that they call it irregularities. I wonder if someone of your stature might be able to help? What are irregularities? That mine has always had a darkness to it. A hundred years ago, it was the hideout of a terrible gang of outlaws. Death. Greed. After they left, our ancestors settled here and took over mining operations. Recently, some treasure hunters showed up, looking for one of those Alvadado bracelets. Ever since, our miners have become... sick. They started chewing on their own lips, bloody chins babbling about that old fairy tale, Alvadado's lost gold mine. Then they stopped coming back from the mine altogether, and we haven't seen them in days. Where's the mine's location? I hoped you might want to help. The way you purge those ridgebacks, you're certainly more capable than any of us. The mine is two hours northwest of here. Our sheriff went to investigate, but it's been three days now. May Yeb's mercy bless your journey, friend, and take care from the evil that festers there. What about the Ridgebacks? An infestation. Our sheriff used to keep them at bay, but he went missing a few days ago, as I said, when he went to investigate the irregularities at the mine. I must admit, I'm afraid for his safety. Uh, sheriff Del Bosque. Good man. When our miners stopped coming home, he went to investigate, but that was three days ago now. The last person to have seen him was his wife, uh, Nomi. Perhaps you should speak with her. Uh, storybooks say how the Dado came across seas a hundred years ago and built the greatest gold mine in the West. It's been lost for decades, though. Fools and treasure hunters say that you need three magic gold bracelets just to find the cursed place. But it's greed and fantasy, if you ask me. Distraction from Yeb and a nun's wisdom. So them treasure hunters thought an old Vidato bracelet was hidden in the local mine. Solid lead. What are the chances things will be friendly when you get there? Um, close to nil. 
Alright guys, well, you know, before we go do anything else, we're going to see if we can track down the uh, sheriff's wife. See if we can get some info. Maybe we'll have like, a nice little sub-quest before we head into the mines. So we will go ahead and end it here and pick it up in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.